Now, there's been mixed reaction to the election of the ANC's Jeff Makubu as Johannesburg mayor. Makubu replaces the DA's Herman Mashaba, who resigned a while ago. Now, the man of the moment joins me in studio to talk us through some of his plans for the city. Mr. Mayor, uh, congratulations to you, first and foremost. Thank you very much. Claire. Now, let me outline to you what uh, you've told us so far, that you plan to provide free water, improve service delivery to the poor, and, of course, a promise of passing a new budget. How is this all going to work if you're not in unison with all the parties at council? Well, at the moment, we, we have 50% of, uh, of councillors supporting us. Um, we have made a, a plea to other parties to come and join us for the, for in, the, in the interest of the residents of Johannesburg to come and work with us. We've, uh, we've made um, an approach to the EFF, approach to the DA, because we say we have to work in unison as a city of Johannesburg to unite council, to unite uh, the residents of Johannesburg. Mr. Mayor, let, let's deal with uh, the elephant in the room. Mm cut to the chase. Why should Johannesburg residents trust you? Well, I believe um, I bring uh, lots of experience, uh, private sector, public sector, uh, academic qualifications, rootedness in communities, activism, mm -hmm. um, and, and I've been here before in, 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 the, in the administration. Uh, turning around the finances of the city, working with Mayor Tau, we worked very hard uh, to ensure that the city is where it was in 2016. Now, the trust issues you know exactly where they stem from. Your company, Moleluane Consulting, does it still do business with the city? Moleluane um, has not done business with the city uh, for a long time now. I left Moleluane a long time ago, uh, and now it's still registered uh, because there, there was no activity in, in Moleluane Consulting. There were reports recently that uh, it's been taken over by your mother or a relative of yours. No, no, no. My mother was with me in the business when it started then in 1998. Mm. Um, so we've been to, she was, she was a partner in, in the business, she worked in the business with me um, and then she retired uh, earlier on but she stayed on as a member. So the company has effectively shut down? Yeah. Yes. How long had it been in operation for? We opened it in 1998 hmm. um, and, and I left it in 20, 20, 2011 when, when I was appointed full time as a councillor mm -hmm. um, and, and then of course the, the process of winding down started, it took a bit of time. We've heard of uh, shelf companies. I hope it wasn't a shelf company, was it? No, no, it was a special purpose vehicle. No, 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 no. It was a proper company with um, lots of clients uh, working in the space of uh, finance, accounting, tax, uh, corporate finance, and we joined asset management. We went, we branched off to financial software. It wasn't a, a, a SPV to do whatever SPVs do. It was a proper business employing about 20 people. Uh, let's deal with uh, the issue of investigations against you. You tweeted last week Tuesday that uh, the ANC's Integrity Commission had cleared your name in as far as corruption allegations are concerned. Um, do you still stick by that word? The ANC report was going to go to the PEC. I have engaged with the Integrity Committee and the Integrity Committee has advised me that I must follow the process but I'm very clear that in my head that I've done nothing wrong. Mr. Makob, the question is, you said on Tuesday last week the Integrity Commission of the ANC had cleared your name. Are you saying that that wasn't if in fact true? No, what I'm saying to you is that I engaged with the Integrity Committee and I'm aware what, uh, what, uh, what the, the report should say and the report is going to the PC, the PC will release the formal report. So you effectively are still under investigation by the Integrity Commission. As far as I'm concerned, the investigation is concluded. The report is ready to be processed by the PEC. You see, again, it's exactly this issue that brings me back to my initial point. Why should Johannesburg residents trust you? You say one thing, and it turns out not to be the case. I've said, I've said, I've tweeted, I mean, in response to a tweet by one of your reporters, mm distorting completely um, the decision of the PEC and, and, and still making those wild allegations. Mm -hmm. And when I tweeted, I tweeted saying that, look, I'm, I've, I've subjected myself to scrutiny and I'm clear that I'm, 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 I'm fine. So, so I'd like to leave it at that, that uh, the tweet, there's, there's, no, there's no untruth in the tweet. There's no untruth in the tweet. <laughs> All right, uh, Mr. Makubu, the, the ANC 
comes with a baggage in Johannesburg. You are now returned to power, albeit through the back door. How are you going to endear yourself to residents of this city, given the allegations you've faced in the past as a party now? All the 135 wards are going to uh, get services from the, from the, from the ANC-led coalition government. It will be a government for the people who will be down on the ground, will be fixing portals. Today, robots are not working in the, in the, in the, in the West. Uh, and, and, and the daily ex lived experience of the citizens of Johannesburg uh, today, some of them are very grumpy. I've been hearing them on radio saying that we are late, there's a gridlock, there are no points made. And who's to, who's to blame for that? Who's at fault? What I'm saying can be that, uh, uh, you know, because of the rain that um, uh, uh, the traffic lights have gone off. But what we think is that there must be plan B. Uh, you know, pointsmen must be on the road, uh, you know, must go back to that insurance uh, issue and all that. So, so we are focusing on what the residents will, fo will, will experience daily to ensure that the experience is very positive. Mr. Makobu, we wish you the best of luck. Thank you very much Thanks for the time to speak to us. Jeff Makobu, the new Johannesburg Mayor. Let's